and welcome back to another episode of my Genshin Impact playthrough. Last time we talked all to the people and I guess we're not gonna go possess them. It's so very strange, but it's fine. It's fine. Oh, here she comes. Satori is here. Let's quietly follow her. Once she's asked for how we'll sway her to our side, I'll leave that to you. I trust you'll know what to say. Uh, looks like they've already started talking. Let's find out. I'm scared. Don't do anything wrong. That's right. You really can't force anything when it comes to love. And besides, everyone around me has a very different background and outlook. Uh, are you still listening to me, Nabia? Oh, of course I'm listening. You were talking about troubles with your love life, right? Uh, <sighs> okay then. You just seemed a little distracted for a moment. <laughs> Strange. Your cats seem pretty worked up. I always thought they were quiet, happy kitties. Oh, what are their names again? Um. 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 Um, what are her cat's names? Oh, crud. Um. Um, 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 um. Okay. It's, um. I don't know. Hold on. Um, I know it's cheating, but, um, I think, okay, I think it's the, these. Ah, that's right. They are just little darlings, aren't they? Harut and Marut. Ahem. <clears throat> so, which fortune do you want me to read for you today? You must have come for another ex- Hmm... I'd like to get another reading on my love prospects, but to be perfectly honest with you, I feel like I've been a real mess recently. A mess? Well, um... Could you do a reading on how long it'll take me to finish my current project at work? I really just want to get it over with. <laughs> Find one in the background! I hear you. No problem at all. Uh, the gods will reveal the truth. Um... Uh, 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 it's the first one, right? Oh, the gods have spoken, yeah. The gods are asking, Sitaria, why haven't you gone home? Why haven't I gone home? Do the gods really know everything I've been thinking about? Sitaria, why don't you just go home? It's a demand now instead of a question. Oh, the gods seem to be truly upset. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. I know I failed the gods. Please pass on my most sincere apologies and ask for their divine forgiveness. And if I may ask, Nabia, is there a specific god who's speaking to you right now? Hm. What an inconsiderate and naive question. The god who is speaking to me is, of course, the wisest and mightiest of all, King Deshret. G king Deshret? No wonder he would make such demand of me. Uh huh. Wait a second. King Deshret passed away a long time ago. Even though news of King Deshret's resurrection has been spreading like wildfire, it's all just a misinformation campaign from the academia. How can King Deshret still exist in real life? Hudson, it was so awesome. Jeez. What insolence! I am King Deshret's most loyal believer. Do you wish to refute his voice of wisdom? Oh, no, no. As a child of the desert, I am only reveling in his power upon learning that- <sighs> I will think very carefully about his demand of me. I'm sorry. I must go now. Uh, wait! 
I guess we didn't convince her. Whoops. Oh, we're not there. <laughs> I forgot to name the cat. I really care that's cheating. Whoa. She just ran off in her wild tongue. Sataria didn't seem to suspect anything amiss. To have something she's been trying desperately to avoid show up out of nowhere and berate her, that must have shaken her to the core. Mm -hmm. I would do it twice more. Nikita. All I know are some abstract tarot, but anyway, enough of Yeah, yeah, we gotta go talk to the dog. We gotta keep it now. Right on cue. Let's get ready to possess him right away. Alright. This one is dad worked in masonry and he broke his leg, so he's not working. It's okay. I just got caught up in something. Hmm. Oh, actually, didn't you ask me to help you look for work? What kind of work were you looking for again? Masonry. Oh, right. Your old man's craft. How could I forget? Speaking of, how's he doing? Is he feeling any better? He's feeling a lot better. He can't lift stuff because he's not working anymore. Oh, that's good to hear. I have been thinking a lot about him. Actually, while we're talking about him, is he still living in Port Ormo? Yeah, he's been retired there for a while. If you could find the time, please write him a letter. Let him know that recently, faith in King Deshret has taken root in Port Ormos and has begun to spread across Sumer. He has a quick temper and has always been a devout follower of the Dendro Archon. I don't want him to get into a fight with those King Deshret believers because of a difference in... Oh? So, who are you siding with in all of this? Uh, I... <sighs> I'm so jealous of you. You were born a child of the desert, yet you chose to betray King Deshret, and now you spend all your time with those crooks from the Academia. Akeem, you don't mean... you've also become a believer of King Deshret? Yes. Totally. What's so strange about becoming a believer of the wise King Deshret? In fact, aren't you the strange one? The one who still can't pick a side? C can't pick a side? Me? Whoa! I had no idea you'd be so good at this! It wasn't too harsh. You really zeroed in on the issue and put it right in front of her. It might feel a bit overwhelming for Sato- But once everything is over, I'll be sure to pay her a visit- Alright, last one. She's she's making a run for it. Come on! Sataria's She's like, I don't want to be here anymore. So, Chishan, have you noticed anything weird in the city lately? Nope. Like as if someone was trying to preach to you about something? No, but it's funny. Oh, she mentioned the basement. Oh right. Speaking of strange things, I celebrated the Subzerus festival so many times that I lost count. That was really weird. Wait, how could you be aware of that? That should be impossible. Nothing in the report indicated anything. Are you still failing to realize that the Academia's lowly tricks could never deceive all of Sumeru's citizens? Uh, uh, Chishan, don't tell me that you've converted to King Deshret as well! Yeah. What an absurd question. You make it sound like I should be ashamed for becoming a believer of King Deshret. In reality, shouldn't you be the one who is ashamed? You, who worked side by side with the Academia, and treated people as nothing more than experimental sub- Please, please stop! Oh no, I feel kind of bad now. Even now, Satari is still trying to run from her problem. She can no longer justify everything to herself. Hey, she's trying to talk to the guards! This is the most important part of all. Mercenary, you're a member of the Corps of Thirty, correct? Please help me pass a message to the Matra right away. Please, try to remain calm, miss. Heretics are infiltrating the city, and they've already converted many residents to their side. Heretics? What kind of heresy are you talking about? King Deshred! Many people I know have suddenly started believing in him, but he's long dead. It's impossible. Miss Sataria, nothing is impossible. Y you know my name? Mm -hmm. King Deshret is immortal, and all who defy him will one day pay the price. 
You must face the truth, Sataria. You tread a treacherous path, and the longer you ignore it, the tighter the Academia's grasp on you will become, and the deeper you will be ensnared. Child of King Deshret, never forget that the desert that belongs to you lies elsewhere. What's so strange about becoming a believer of the wise King Deshret? In fact, aren't you the strange one? The one who still can't pick a side? What an absurd question. You make it sound like I should be ashamed for becoming a believer of King Deshret. Sitaria, why haven't you gone home? Uh-oh. Seems that no matter where I run, I've also been running from my guilt this But no matter how much I may try to ignore and get rid of it, my guilt always comes back. It's not too late to turn back. You won't necessarily lose your research opportunities by facing the truth. Besides, did you really want to conduct your research while carrying such heavy feelings of guilt? How do you know me so well? Are you truly just a believer of King Deshret? Or are you the- That's not important. The important thing is to pass judgment on the Academia and its sages, and to correct their mistakes. If you could provide some assistance in this matter, perhaps it could serve as a form of atonement. I've actually never believed in the gods, but I've always believed in serendipity. Your appearance must be a fated opportunity for me. Please tell me, what can I do for you? <clears throat> How much do you know about the sages' current activities? I was just one of the designers for the Mast Dream Harvest Scheme, which is what happened around the Subzerus, but I know very little about the full scope of the overall project. I'd assume that only staff with the highest clearance would have access to those co I've just been working to meet the Grand Sage's specified requirements. However, there's something that's been really bothering me. I heard that a scholar who was previously expelled has returned to the city, and even the Sages are still quite wary. To fight against the Academia, we will need to figure out the nature and the purpose of their work. Is there a way for us to get access to the confidential documents you mentioned? It should be possible if we're willing to take some risks. After all, I'm an assistant to the Grand Sage, and I've been working on many tasks outside of the project. One thing, though, I won't be able to transfer the documents to you through the Akasha once I get my hands on them. The Sages have always closely monitored all activities within the- Um, let me see... Uh, let's use the most primitive method. Send someone to pick up the documents tomorrow evening at the Academia entrance. The Academia entrance? Wouldn't that be too conspicuous? Don't worry about that. I assure you, I'm only suggesting this location because it'll draw more scrutiny for me to leave the Academia again. It'll be- Alright, I trust you. So, uh, if I were to succeed, Um, that'll depend on the judgment of the Dendro Archon. The Dendro Archon. That's right. Her people are the ones we- Maybe it's time for me to find a god to believe in. Just as Nahida predicted, we've managed to put the Traveler's execution was ingenious. She's the <sighs> one who deserves all the praise. We are gonna- we gave the poor girl a panic <laughs> Well, now that we've made plans to meet again tomorrow evening- Hey! But if we're going to pray to the gods, aren't we just praying to you? God of wisdom? Mm -hmm. No, no. The truth is the true guardian of scholars. I've always believed that. Anyway, let's meet again tomorrow evening at the Adventurer's Guild. I wonder if the scholar who's been expelled was al Hazen when he's come back to the city. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if it was him. Okay, we gotta wait till the next night. Like, I- it would be like- I'm gonna call it now, it's all Haytho. Or... Who else could it be? Yeah, I'm gonna go with it's all Haytho. I don't think it could be anybody else at the moment. Don't worry, my achievements. Okay. I did! I literally did. Does it want me to go another? No, that's fine. Okay, here we go. I'm 
come on. Alright, let's go meet up with uh, Nikita. Hello. Catherine, we're here! That's right. I suppose I'm the other Catherine in your mind. No, don't call her Nikita. That's suspicious. We're on a secret mission. Yep, Paimon's right. We cannot fully... If something were to happen, my existence may be the only trump card we'll be able... After all, the Academia should still be unable to confirm the existence of my consciousness in the outside world. Yep, yep. Exactly. Just what Paimon was thinking. <laughs> anyway, enough about that. Let's just switch off. What do you feel is yeah, it's a the middle cold. of the night? No, I think she's right. If you look around, there seems to be fewer people on the streets. I'm huh. Maybe it's just a coincidence. I also can't quite figure out why things feel a little off. Well, regardless. You gotta be careful. Alright, but that'll be a thing for next time. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next episode. Bye!